dedicate you to living a healthy and vibrant lifestyle. My name is Chelsea and I'll be leading today's power yoga practice. On my left is Megan and on my right is Carl. Please work at your own pace, never pushing past your comfort zone. You're creating a new relationship with your body. Listen to what it's telling you. And we are all unique, just like everyone else, and so is your practice. So let's see where it leads us today. We'll start with a seated twist, so you can allow the heels to move a little further away from the body, holding on to the knees as you begin to sit up just a little taller. Remember, you don't have to twist far to feel everything ringing out of the body. So let's place the left hand on top of the right knee, inhaling the right arm in front of you. Exhale it behind the back, fingertips close to the spine and the buttocks, the elbows soft. Find length as you breathe in, and as you breathe out, begin twisting toward the right side. You can ad adjust the left arm in any way needed. Feel the right shoulder roll open as the chin turns toward it. Take an inhale and sit up a little taller. Exhale and find some place inside to relax. And as you breathe in again, unwind slowly, mindfully. As you sweep the right hand all the way around to the left knee, you can inhale the left arm behind the back. Use your elbow to gently uh, press through the fingertips, finding only through the spine. And as you exhale, begin twisting. One vertebra at a time, adjusting the arms, finding length with the spine, breathe in. Relax as you exhale. And as you breathe in again, slowly unwinding back to center. You can straighten your legs out in front of you. Your hands can be alongside of your hips. You are reaching the heels forward. The toes are trying to point back gently toward your chin. If you ever find that this is just a little too challenging, you can always prop the hips up with a blanket. You can even place something under the knees to keep them soft. Now let's breathe in, pressing your shoulder blades toward one another and down away from the ears. The abdominals squeeze in to hold the body here. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, can you hinge keeping the hands where they are, the tailbone grounded as you press the heart forward shoulders back. Take an inhale. Then you can slide the hands down toward the ankles, rounding your lower, your middle, your upper back, and your head. You can hang out here in the forward bend. You can also bring the hands to the feet. Still pressing through the heels, you can gently pull the toes back, whether you stay rounded over or if you lift your chest a little. Pressing it forward and the shoulders back. The body is stretching in three different directions. This is what Hatha Yoga is all about. Finding that length with the breath. Exhale and fold down a little deeper. We're about to move into a transition that you can move into any way you'd like as long as it's okay with the body. Inhale and lift the head the chest sitting all the way back up to a seated position you can slide the hands back alongside of the hips now we're going to be moving into plank position if you want to cross your legs in front rocking forward to bring the hands to the floor then you can hop your feet back if you want to add a push-up or two now is a great time maybe you lower down and just hover if you want to release all the way down to the floor please do so so as we move through this posture, we're going to find a groundedness. Go ahead and let your hands be alongside of your hips with the palms facing down. We're moving into boat pose. So as you exhale, you'll begin to feel where the pubic bone, the thighs ground into your support or into your mat. As you breathe in, you can lift your head and your chest, rolling the shoulders open, finding length all the way through the spine. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, slowly release down. Let's go a step further. Inhaling, using the core to lift the head, the chest. If you would like the arms to float away, they can. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, releasing down. 
Now depending on how far you want to go into this pose, you can go just a little deeper. Inhale the head and the chest, the arms can float away, the feet can float away. You can hang out right here, or you can bring the arms alongside of the ears or even at a T position. Wherever you choose to be, take an inhale, finding length. Exhale and release down to the floor. So we're going to take this belly down pose just a little deeper. So let's go ahead and bring your right heel toward the buttocks. If you can reach your ankle holding on to it, feel your pubic bone begin to press down into the earth, into your mat. Squeeze the navel in, let the head and the chest lift away. If you want to extend your left arm straight out in front of you, if you want your left leg to float away, it can. You can also press your right heel toward the sky. Take an inhale. Exhale and slowly release down. Letting the right foot come to the floor, the left heel can come in toward the buttocks. When you're ready to lift away, use the abdominal muscles, the head and the chest. The right leg can float away, the right arm can come alongside of the ear. Moving that left heel a little away from the buttocks. Remember, you don't have to go far to feel this pose. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, release all the way down. So we're going to move this belly down posture just a step deeper. Now, we're going to bring both heels in toward the buttocks. You can keep the hands on the floor if you need to. You can even reach back and hold the ankles. You can stay right here and not even lift the knees away from the floor if you don't want to. Or you can lift the head and the chest, rolling the shoulders open. The knees might lift away, the feet might lift away. You find length coming all the way out through the crown and even the heels pressing up just a bit. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, we're going to slowly lower back down to the floor. And how about a counter pose? You can come up into tabletop position, tucking the toes under, and as you exhale, lift the hips high into downward facing dog. Go ahead and walk your heels, feeling the tailbone stretch up as the fingertips stay grounded. Now you can hang out right here for a few more breaths, feeling the release in the spine, and then you can hop or step the feet forward into the forward bend. As you breathe in, let's come all the way up using the core, coming into the mountain pose, a gentle back arch. Exhale and let's visit chair pose. You can come as deep as you'd like into this place. Even the arms can stay alongside of the ears if you'd like. You're doing a great job. Just stay connected with your breath. And as you inhale, let's press up into mountain pose and lift your heels just a little away from the floor. Exhale, let's lower the heels and come back into chair pose. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, press up, mountain pose, heels can lift. It doesn't matter how high they lift. Exhale, lower the heels down, lower the buttocks down into the seated position. One last time. Inhaling up, opening the chest. Let's see if we can keep the heels elevated as you slowly exhale back into that chair pose. Fine, a nice deep breath. And then as you breathe in again, let's hinge into a half forward bend, bring the hands to the sacrum. Your heels are grounded, the back is nice and flat. Breathe in and finally through the spine. Breathe out. Bring the hands to the floor. Folding into the forward bend as you look between the legs, stepping back with the right foot into a lunge, as deep or as shallow as you'd like to be. Remember, as you're in this pose, you can always keep the hands on the floor, or if you want to work a little stronger, you can lift the hands away and even coming alongside of the ears. Feel the strength, the confidence this posture offers. Now what if we strengthen it a little more by hinging and just hovering over that upper leg. Hands can be out to the sides. We don't want to stay here long. We don't want to kill your legs so we can straighten the forward leg. You can turn that back heel down as you're still hinged into a half forward bend. What if you bring the arms alongside of your ears? Find a nice lengthening stretch. Then you can lower the hands down to the floor, folding over that forward leg. 
We're going to step the forward foot back into plank position. Upward push-up pose. Let's move slowly into upward facing dog. You can soften the elbows, scooping and coming up into upward facing dog. Now while you're here, you want the heels of the hands to be under the shoulders. Press the earth away from you. We're about to move into a transition that's really upper body strengthening. You can move into it more times or less if needed. Remember, your practice is unique, just like you. Tuck the toes under, lift the hips high into downward facing dog. As you breathe in, let's lift the right leg toward the sky. As you breathe out, come into plank pose, bringing that right knee toward the heart. As you breathe in, Press that right foot back up and down dog. Exhale when you're ready, bringing the knee toward the heart in plank pose. You can inhale that leg back up. And let's go ahead and do it one more time, staying. And then we're gonna place that right foot on the floor in a lunge. We're gonna step the back foot forward into the forward bend. Good job. And as you breathe in, let's come all the way up into the mountain pose. A little back arch as you bring the palms together to your heart. Now remember, you're working at your own pace. You don't have to do it as many times as we are and be sure to breathe. Let's inhale the arms overhead, a gentle back arch. Exhale and dive down into the forward bend. Looking between the calves and this time we're gonna step the left foot back into a lunge as deep or shallow as you'd like. You can use the core to lift the hands away from the floor. Warrior one. You can hang out here as the shoulders slide down. Really squeeze the navel in, opening the chest. And to add more strength, hinge and hover over that forward thigh. Hands out to the sides, a nice long neck. The next time you breathe in, you can straighten your forward leg. You can turn that back heel down. Feel that opening. You can even bring the arms alongside of the ears. You don't have to come here. Take an in breath and then lower the hands down to the floor. Folding over the forward leg, we're about to move into plank position. Stepping that forward foot back. Then when you're ready, we're going to scoop, coming into upward facing dog. If you ever don't want to scoop, just gently lower the hips down and the crown toward the sky. Keep your elbows soft. Tucking the toes under, and as you exhale, lift the hips high into downward facing dog. Let's go ahead and move in and out three times. So first, inhale your left leg toward the sky. As you exhale, bring that left knee toward your heart and plank pose. Inhaling back up, down dog. Exhaling in plank. Inhaling, lifting, extending. And as you exhale, coming here, hovering, take a moment, then you can step that left foot on the floor, making adjustments. Stepping the back foot forward, ah, nice forward bend. And as you breathe in, let's come all the way up into the mountain pose, allowing the palms to come together, ah, and down to your heart. Now, we're about to move into another type of balance. It's gonna be a side crow balance. Now, if the body isn't quite ready for this, Megan is gonna be showing a modification for it. You only move as deep as you'd like. If you wanna try it and see where you go, remember the earth isn't that far away from you. So if you fall out of it, fall on the exhale. So when you're ready, inhale the arms toward the sky. Exhale into chair pose. We're going to bring the palms together to your heart and place the right elbow on the outside of the left knee. You can look over the left shoulder. You can also widen your arms here, hanging out here if you want to. And if you want to go into side crow, you can bring that left hand down to the floor, finding your balance, allowing that right elbow to support both legs. Are you breathing? You're doing a great job anytime you're ready. You can come back into Uttanasana, the forward bend. Mm, feel that release. And then as you breathe in again, let's come all the way up into the mountain pose. Palm 
palms coming together and down to your heart. Notice how you feel on this side and how you'll feel moving into the other side. Sweep the arms overhead, mountain pose. Exhale down into the chair pose. You can bring the palms together to your heart, placing the left elbow on the outside of the right knee. You can widen the arms, hanging out here. Or if you want to bring that right hand down to the floor, moving slowly and mindfully as that left elbow supports the legs. A breath or two, knowing you can come out into the forward bend when you're ready. And as you breathe in, let's come all the way up, palms coming together, and down to your heart. Let's go into a little bit more core strength. So we can come down to the floor, bringing the back down. And let's go ahead and bring both knees in toward the chest and we'll extend both heels toward the sky. Now you can hold behind the thighs, you can hold the ankles, or you can hold the toes. Feel that release through the back. Now as you're here, you're wanting to really soften along the back of the legs, feeling that hamstring stretch. If you would like to bring it a little deeper, let's let that left heel float down toward the floor. You're reaching the left heel forward, whether the leg is straight, are bent, that right heel is pressing up. We'll move in and out three times on each side. So first, inhale your arms alongside of your ears. As you exhale, bring your forehead toward your right knee as the hands come alongside of your hips on the exhale. Inhale, opening up. Exhale, coming into the gentle crunch. Inhale when you're ready, opening up, and one last time, exhaling into the crunch. Let's release back down. You can lift your left leg toward the sky. You can allow your right heel to float down. And then let's inhale the arms alongside of the ears, three times on this side. Exhale into the gentle crunch. You can even stay and hang out here if you'd like. You can inhale, open up. Exhaling into the crunch, inhaling, opening up one last time. Exhale into the crunch, then as you open back up, you can lift the right leg toward the sky, bending both knees. Now we're going to move into full wheel pose, a full back bend. If your body says no, you can move into a, a hip lift and Megan is going to demonstrate that. So if you're moving into full wheel pose, you can allow the hands to be alongside of the ears. The fingertips are pointing toward the shoulders. Your elbows are pointing toward the sky. Your heels are directly under the knees. As you breathe in, you can peel the back away, lifting all the way up. Notice Megan is just lifting her hips and lowering back down. You can also roll the shoulders under into bridge pose. Anytime you're ready to come out, you can allow the back to slowly release down, bringing the knees into a tuck and the forehead toward the knees. And then we'll move into relaxation. You deserve it. Stretch one leg out and then the other. Feel where the body can release as much as possible. Toes relaxed, knees released arms, shoulders, letting go, your jaw unclenched. Notice where the eyelids touch one another and your forehead is smooth and relaxed, letting go of all distracting thoughts.
And remember you can stay here as long as you'd like. When you are ready to begin movements, allow the breath to deepen, the movements to gently move a little side to side, circling around, maybe bending the knees, gentle twist. Taking your time so that you could roll toward one side. The hand helps to lift the body back up as you find a nice seated position. So you practiced really hard today. Remember, this can change and alternate as you practice. It is as unique as you. No pushing, no striving. Just see what unfolds. Namaste.